Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel Code One Digest. Today I am here to tell you that I am releasing a new video on Node.js JavaScript API project and that we will run in a Docker container. Yes, friend, in this project I'll show you how to create Node.js JavaScript project, how to create a Docker image of that project, how to deploy that Docker image into a Docker container and test that application. So I'll teach you what is Docker file, how to create Docker image how to deploy the docker image into a docker container in our local server right friends so if you want to learn node.js javascript api and if you want to learn docker image docker file docker container so this is the tutorial for you so stay tuned and watch this tutorial till end it is going to be very very informative and very very exciting tutorial today right friends okay friends so here is the agenda of this tutorial today I'll give you an introduction of Node.js API project with Docker container. Then I'll explain you what we are trying to achieve in architecture diagram. Then I'll explain you, I'll show you the Node.js API project and then we'll test it and I'll show you that it's working fine. Then next step is we will create a Docker file and then we will build a Docker image for our Node.js API project. Once the image is created, then we'll deploy that image into a Docker container and run it, right? Once the image is deployed and running in a Docker container, then we'll be testing the Node.js endpoint and validate that deployment is successful and the application is running fine in a Docker container. And at the end, I'll be summarizing what we learn in this tutorial. Right, friends? So watch this tutorial till end. It is going to be very, very exciting and very informative video today. Okay friends, so here is the architecture, what we are trying to achieve. It's very simple project. This is myself, okay, who is creating the project, Node.js API project in this local directory. Once that is done, then I'll be creating a Docker file and creating a Docker image and it will deploy that image into our Docker container. So this is our Docker container. It will create a Docker image for this project and put that into a source folder of my container. This is my Docker container. Docker container is nothing but a virtual machine. It's a machine. It's a virtual machine running inside your operating system. Your local machine can be Windows or can be a Linux or can be a Mac, right? Inside that Docker container is another operating system, a thin version of operating system running into your host operating system right so this docker container itself is a virtual machine inside that we'll have a source directory in this source directory we will be transferring the docker image and it will be running here so docker image consists of what docker image will consist of node server and all the dependencies is required to run right this source folder will also have a package.json our source code and everything right so we'll be transferring all the files into source directory and then finally we'll be running our application inside the docker container into a node server and you will also see that we'll be mapping the container port of 8080 to our local host port to 8080 so that we can access this node application running inside a container on 8080 port of my local machine because we'll be testing it from our local right outside the container so we have to do this port mapping we have to do a port mapping from container port to our local host port finally once that is done once the application is up and running inside a docker container then i'll be hitting the endpoint by calling localhost 8080 right because i am running my browser in my local machine and i'll access my local machine through localhost right now in localhost which port I want to access? I want to access 8080 port. This 8080 port, right? Because we have mapped container port to 8080 port. So any request coming to 8080 port of my local machine will go to 8080 port of my container application. Got it? So as I hit localhost 8080 slash hello, the request will be going inside the container and will be served by this node server clear friends very simple architecture if you want to learn more on docker container so go 
watch the complete playlist i have created lots and lot of video on docker container docker image port mapping how to deploy java application spring boot application node.js application into docker container so there are a lot of videos available right and if you have any specific query write into a comment section i'll reply to your query okay friends friends before we proceed in this video i request you to subscribe this channel to grow code one digest family friends i am creating a lot of quality videos on programming coding concepts design pattern and design principles cloud and container technologies but i am not getting subscribers i request you to like share and subscribe this channel so that i can grow a code one digest family thank you okay friends so now let me show you my node.js api project very simple project okay so this is my node.js api project where i have a package.json and i have only three dependencies body parser cors and express express to support http support microservice support to create routes so all those capabilities will come from express body parser it's kind of middleware that helps express to convert the body of post request for the processing so this three dependencies we have added very simple no fancy item right let me show you my uh, server.js right this is our main javascript file where i am importing the body parser cors and express and defining a port 8080 so that i can run my server on 8080 port taking an instance of app from express and in that app i am setting the body parser and cors finally i am defining two routes one is slash it is printing welcome to node.js api project and second is slash hello to return the hello world string right finally i am starting my server here app.listen on the port that port is defined above and printing the message in the log on the console is server is up and running on port very simple two minutes application let me run this application into my local and see if that is working fine let me do that okay friends so i'm into a directory where i have my project i have all the files here in this location now what i'll do is i'll build this application i'll download all the dependencies and run this application so just be with me let me do that let me show you the files so i have this package.json so it has dependencies body parser cors and express so what i'll do is now i'll say npm install so i will have all the dependencies installed here it will create the node modules directory here now right so let us see this node module directory has been created now let me quickly check and run this application so cat server.js yes so it is going to run on port 8080 now let me run this node server.js yes so it says it's running on 8080 now what i'll do is let me quickly hit the 8080 port and see if the application is up and running then we'll move towards the containerization of this application i'll go in a browser and see if i am able to hit this localhost 8080 and what are the endpoints i have i have slash and slash hello let me hit that so i'm here okay let me put that http localhost 8080 slash yes so i'm getting a response welcome to node js api project now let me say hello right so it's a hello world that means our node js api is working fine now what i'll show you is how to containerize how to write a docker file to create a container image of this application i'll be showing you how to write a docker file and how to create a container image how to run that in a container and this is my project i have created a docker file let me show you the docker file quickly because this is the first step to containerize our application to create image for our application so let me run you through each and every line this docker file is placed at the root of my project and all my files are also residing in the same directory that means my source file my package.json everything is in the same folder 
Hence, our folder structure will be used here accordingly. So first I am downloading node 18 and then I'll be creating a directory source in my container and then I'll making my working directory as a source. So now all my artifacts, all my file will be inside this source directory. Now in next step, what I'm doing is I'm copying the package.json file from current folder to slash source slash package.json. That means I'm copying the package.json, this package.json into the container source directory. Finally, I'll, I'm running npm install to download all the dependencies to have our node module directory created inside the container. Once this is done, then I'm copying all the files, all the source from current folder, that means our server.js and so on to source directory. It will copy everything. Finally, I'm exposing port 8080 and starting my application that is command and the command is node server.js, right? This is how we have started in my, our local and the same command we'll use in a container to start our, our application inside a container and we'll be hitting the 8080 and see if the application is up and running. So now what I'll do is I'll build a container image of this application and see if that image is successfully running into a container. Let me do that. Let me build a command first for that. So here is a command like docker build minus t is for tag and code one digest slash node js hello world api okay this is the tag and dot for the current directory now what i'll do is i'll i'll take this command and run that into a directory where i have my docker file so here is my project directory let me clear everything so here is my docker file these are the instructions in the docker file right what we saw and let me copy the command Yes, and paste it here. So now what it will do is it will create an image and it will be added to our local image repository. So Docker images, so these are the images that I have, but I don't have that node.js hello world tag, right? <clears throat> so I have copied this command and now I'll paste that and let me run this. So it is building, it is downloading the dependencies and will create the image it will take few minutes let us wait so once this image is created it will be listed in my local repository and then after this i will run that image into a container and see if that is working fine still taking time already 70 seconds are done let us give some more time okay friends so image is created now and uh, i can see that it is listing now at the top of all the images let me show you that docker images right so do you see this image this is just now created and it is of size 1.1 gb right friends so now what we'll do is as a next step is we'll run this image into our docker container and we'll see if we are able to hit the api for now doc let us see if any docker container already running so for that we have a command docker ps so there is no container running and now uh, let me prepare a command to run the docker container for this for this image here is the command so if you see docker run minus p uh, i'm using minus p option for the port mapping i'm mapping the internal port container port 8080 to our local machine port 8080 right so that we will be hitting the url localhost 8080 and that will be able to hit the container port through this port mapping hence the request will be served from the container and then finally after the port mapping i have the image name that is our code one digest node.js hello world api let me copy this and we'll run this now let me go back to my console no container running let me put that command here i have pasted the command here do you see and hit it right so it says the server is up and running on port 8080. Now what I'll do is let me hit in the browser on 8080 and see if the response is coming. Now the server is up and running. So now what I'll do is I'll open the browser 
and try to hit the API and see if I'm getting a response. Though the application is running in container now and we want to confirm that our image, what we created is absolutely fine and able to work in a container. So let me do that. I have opened a browser. Let me put HTTP localhost 8080 slash okay so yes i'm getting response and this is coming from container right let me put another endpoint hello so yes i'm getting response that means our image is working absolutely fine we are getting the response to our endpoints and it is working absolutely fine okay friends so now let me summarize what we learned in this tutorial today i gave you introduction of node.js api project with docker container I explain you what we are trying to achieve through architecture diagram, how we are creating the project, how are we creating the Docker image, then how are we sending the Docker image inside a Docker container, how it is going to run into a Docker container, what is a port mapping, why do we require to map the container port to our localhost port, right? And then finally testing the endpoint. Then I explain you the Node.js API project, then we created a Docker file, we created a Docker image. And then finally, we deployed the Docker image into a Docker container. I have shown you how to run the Docker image inside a Docker container. Finally, we have asked, finally we have tested the Node.js endpoint successfully. Right, friends? So, if you like this video, so give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, so do subscribe to my channel to grow Code One Digest family. I am creating a lot of quality videos on Docker containers cloud technology like AWS technology, on Java Spring Boot framework, on GraphQL technology, on Node.js technology. I'm creating a lot and lot of videos on all these technologies. If you want to learn, go and watch the playlist. Friends, if you like this video, so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos. Click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications. And do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues. This is very useful information for students, beginners and software engineers. I am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents. So please help me growing the Code One Digest family. Please subscribe to Code One Digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos. Thank you.